So right now we are standing next to the Kranti Vritti Yantra. So for starters, Kranti Vrit means the ecliptic or the band comprising of 12 zodiacs. So using this instrument, which for some strange reasons have been locked right now, using this instrument we can determine the celestial longitude of any heavenly body in the sky. So the markings, the numbers on this wheel that you see here or the dial represent the zodiac sign and this is used for determining how many degrees the sun has penetrated into each zodiac. Now let's head south of this instrument where there is an actual working prototype and see how we use this to take the measurement. So let's have a closer look on the dial and its readings and we notice that it starts from 6. Now mark this that the 6 is not Virgo or Kanya because the counting actually starts from 0. So the 6 represents Libra. So first we have Libra 6 and then we move to 7 which is Vrishchik and then we move to 8 or Sagittarius, 9, 10, 11, Pisces and finally back to the first point of Aries and then we go to Taurus or 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 or Simha or Leo and then 5 which is Kanya or Virgo and finally we come back to the Libra from where we, from where we started. So for starters, Kranti Vrit means ecliptic and ecliptic is nothing but the 12 zodiac sign, the belt through which the sun transits as it, progress, as it moves around the earth, as viewed from the earth throughout the year. So this dial which we see here represents the ecliptic or the 12 zodiacs and it is always at an angle of 23 and a half degree with the dial which is located in the backward. So how do we figure out in which zodiac the sun is in and how many degrees the sun has moved in that particular zodiac? We will see right now. So the first process of me measurement involves calibration of this bigger dial, which means that as you can see here, the shadow cast by the bigger dial is circular in shape. It's like a disc. If you look at the ground, it's like the disc. So we'll have to rotate this dial and calibrate it so that it becomes like a straight line. And then we'll see what happens further. So let's begin with the process of calibration of the dial. So as we were talking about the process of calibration, right now we see that the shadow cast by the bigger dial is very thick in its nature, as in it's entirely circular, as one can see, like a circular disc, like more over, like oval in, oval in shape. So now what we do is, we try to make this shadow sharp, as in try to bring this disc into a straight line. So what we do is we rotate this bigger dial. And as you see, when I rotate the bigger dial, the sharpness of the shadow increases. And finally we have reached the sharpest point of the shadow possible through calibration. Now the next step involves measurement. How do we measure? It's like, we insert our fingers in the center of the dial and then we try to insert our fingers in different dials and look at the shadow, the different holes that has been punched in the bigger dial. So I put my finger, let's say here, and I notice that my two fingers are not overlapping in the shadow being projected on the ground. So I just move my finger a little bit up and I see that it's closer to overlapping and I move it a little more up and now I see that it's almost overlapping and here it is. Now as I go a bit more further, now I notice that both of my fingers are overlapping. So I take the corresponding reading above and I notice that it is somewhere beyond 2 degrees, which means that sun is in Libra right now and it has moved about 2 degrees and let's say... Sun has moved 2 degrees and an additional three quarter of a degree into Libra. And as we can see, this is the sixth sign or the, this represents the number six, which means that 
the sun has entered the Libra from here on. And as we go further, and we, as we know very well that this point of time in which we are right now is very closer to equinox, see the diametrically opposite point and it marks zero or the first point of Aries. Now to get the actual position of the sun in the sky, we will have to subtract the ionums or the 24 degree which is its current value owing to the third motion of the earth which is the wobbling effect of the earth and the precession of its axis around precession of its precession of its axis around the ecliptic pole.